Hey everybody, what's up? It's Rob Dodson. Welcome back to the Chrome Dev Summit. I'm joined here by Tao Shran. Tao, you are the uh, lead for the product partnership team on Chrome. I got that right. Uh, you just gave a talk on building progressive web apps. Um, and so the first thing I'd like to ask really is just like what inspired you to, to give this talk? So I think it's just been an incredible year uh, in terms of you know seeing lots of partner adoption of progressive web apps. Last year we just had Flipkart at this conference, and now this year we have like a few dozen partners around the globe to shipping, uh, building really cool stuff. Um, and I wanted to just be able to take the opportunity to kind of share the motivations, best practices, and learnings uh, from across the world of all like these awesome developers uh, building really uh, interesting and really impactful progressive web apps. There's a lot of success stories, um, but I know I'm sure as you're, you're going out and you're talking to partners, there's also probably some challenges that they face getting uh, folks uh, within their own organizations excited about progressive web apps. So uh, what, are, what are some of the common issues that you see sort of across the board that, that are, you know, are, are, are holding people back from building their first PWAs right now? So I think a lot of it has to do with, you know, some people still have the mindset of mobile equals native. Um, and so that is shifting pretty quickly, uh, but yet, you know, the web hasn't really been around on mobile, or it's been around, but it hasn't um, really had a lot of the capabilities. And so what we're seeing is um, that people are still having to kind of get executive le level like leadership or buy-in in order to like start investing in the web again. Um, and so this stuff will just take time, and so that's a big challenge. Um, I think the, the, the second big challenge will be around like, like how to get started, especially in the US or in Europe, where people have 15 or 20 years of legacy content or legacy architecture, um, and they don't know where to start or how to begin. So for somebody who's watching this who you know wants to get some buy-in from, from their team or from their higher-ups about building progressive web apps, what are some ways that they can you know, maybe overcome some of those challenges? I mean, I think that one of the first things is just kind of scope and see like what are the most painful user experiences today um, on your mobile website. And so you can build from like a, overhaul like the entire site. You can choose to do a section. Um, and what I found is that people really have a hard time imagining their content or what their site could look like in a progressive web app. And here, I think you know a lot of the more creative uh, dev teams that I've seen have actually just built a prototype, built a demo, and then you know showcased it to uh, their like senior leadership. And I think that's when people can see, okay, this is awesome. Like you can just feel like it's a very different experience. And at that point, once you see what you can do with a progressive web app, you don't want to go back to your regular normal website anymore. Right on, awesome. Well, well, thank you so much for, for being with us today. Uh, thank you all for watching. You can catch Tao's talk on the Chrome uh, Developers YouTube channel. You can also tweet, us, tweet at us using the hashtag Chrome Dev Summit hashtag. So definitely keep the conversation going. Uh, I'm Rob Dotson. Please stay with us. We've got a lot more coming to you from the floor of the Chrome Dev Summit. Thanks.